Dentists worldwide have been taking precision occlusal bite registrations with Blue Moose for more than 20 years. In fact, it's one of the most accurate and stable bite registration materials on the market. In this demonstration, we will be using Blue Moose to take a bite registration for a crown and bridge patient. Before we get started, here are a few helpful Blue Moose tips. Use slightly chilled material to extend work and set times of Blue Moose. Block out severe undercuts before impressing to prevent Blue Moose from locking into them. Blue Moose, like all vinyl polysiloxanes, will not set properly in the presence of latex, residue from polyether impression materials, or the oxygen-inhibited layer on the surface of unfinished composite. Do not touch the material or the tooth with a latex-gloved hand. Begin by discussing the procedure with the patient, including why you're using Blue Moose, the texture they can expect of Blue Moose, what the patient will be asked to do, and how long the procedure will take. Clean and dry working surfaces thoroughly. Insert Blue Moose cartridge into impression gun. Twist off sealing cap and discard. Bleed cartridge onto a mixing pad to discard older residue. Securely attach a new mixing tip and turn clockwise to lock. Program patient's bite before extrusion and visualize interocclusal landmarks. Squeeze trigger with moderate pressure to bleed a 5 mm, 1 quarter inch of material a second time before dispensing the material directly into patient's mouth to ensure even flow. Proceed immediately with registration by extruding blue mousse over biting surfaces of teeth. Have patient bite down firmly, check that landmarks line up, and hold until set. Remove from mouth in one quick motion. There should be no blue mousse residue left behind on teeth. Blue mousse is one of the most durable registration materials available. The registration you take today will be the same weeks or months down.